Hello everyone, this is V, Buzzing with V. Welcome to day four of my mini series, Bunnies and Blooms. Today we're making a Easter basket. It's such an easy Easter basket. It's so basic and easy to assemble. Start off with a six by four sheet of paper. You want to score the, the paper at one and one eighth. Now snip off the uh, edges and you're going to want to snip off the, uh, the smaller part of the score mark and also um, you'd want to also snip off the score mark itself as I'm doing here and then you'll see me remove uh, what's left over after. There I am removing the little strip that I cut so now fold I'm using hot glue to adhere however you're able to use any type of adhesive you'd like That's what it looks like. So very basic little box. Now for the strip, the uh, strip or the handle is gonna be a cut three fourths by an eighth inch handle. I'm using hot glue. I'm, I'm gluing it to the middle of the box. Okay, now to decorate. So I did cut some strips for the bottom of the basket to um, line it. And um, the cuts are similar to the box. And um, so the measurements are two and a half by six. And cut two, I also uh, stitched them. You don't have to do that. The handle um, for the lining of the basket is six by five eighths and I also stitched that as well so I'm going to glue on the uh, lining for the handle first and just do it in portions don't glue it all at once because you will mess up um, so go slow and steady is always the best Okay, so now I'm going to glue the bottom half of the basket. And I did not add stitching to this one because we are going to cover that. So uh, just go ahead and glue it on and um, leaving some paper left over so you could fold on the sides. That's where the seams will be. And do the same to the back of the basket. This basket can be used for anything, candy, beads, rosettes, flags, all type of embellishments, bag toppers, uh, uh, jewelry. It could be used for just about anything. It's such a fun way to present a gift as well and also uh, present uh, your swap partner with some goodies. So there I am 
going to glue the sides down I decide to start with the back first and then do the, the front So all finished there, it's looking very nice. I'm very happy. Using a fence to decorate the outside, fold a piece of paper and uh, run it through your die cut like so, leaving a little smidge so the die cut doesn't cut right through the paper, leaving a fold. So that's how you get the length of the fence. And then I ran it through my sewing machine and gave it some stitching. And so now I'm going to glue the right hand side first and uh, you're just going to have to take your time. Um, try not to glue everything all at once because you will mess up and just slow and steady. So now I'm gluing the other half of the fence and I start in the front this time because uh, I want the seam to be right there on the left hand side because I'm going to add some embellishments there and it'll cover it all up. So um, don't worry about the fold. Uh, you're going to see that uh, the fold on this fence isn't going to be aligned with the box which is fine because you can't really tell with pattern paper if you're using a uh, solid cardstock then you would be able to tell if you are able to cover it with a butterfly or flower or something that you can cover that seam it's such a small seam that it can be covered Okay, I do snip off the end of that fence there and I glue. Everything's looking great. I'm loving how it's looking so far as well. Just giving you a little picture of what I've done so now it's time to embellish so I'm using this sentiment that says Easter I also stitched it and I like it in the back there uh, I, I like that it covers the fence as well because you don't see uh, the other side of the sewing on the fence and it just covers it and it makes it look really nice and festive I really love it um, it also gives the, the basket like a backing and so now I'm starting on the front of the basket and I have all my pieces already uh, I did a, I, I do know how I want to lay everything out already I've, I've done that prior to videotaping uh, or filming and um, <laughs> yeah uh, so there is the little flower pot. I'm adding some garden tools and the watering can as well with the butterfly. I don't use the little birdie. Um, I wish I was able to find a little place for it, but I didn't like anywhere it was at. It was just too cluttered, too much going on. And so I decide to glue everything as is.
I'm just looking to see if everything is working out and I'm loving it so I just keep on going. I glue the flower and then on top of the flower I add the pot but before I add the pot since that little flower is a chipboard I needed to add some uh, foam adhesive and so I did that on one side so the little pot could uh, glue on properly and not at an angle and so I just wanted everything to be straight as possible. Okay, there it is right there. I'm still going to add something else, I believe. See, I tried to make that little bird work, but it just didn't work. I didn't know where to put it. So, uh, yeah, I just left it as is. I'm using this ribbon for Michael's. Uh, I believe it's a one eighth inch, if not a one fourth inch ribbon. They're, they're so inexpensive. I think I got it for like 50 cents or a dollar spool, but um, cut out some, cut out three pieces and tie a bow with it with all three pieces. It just makes it look so much fluffier. And uh, I wanted to use yarn, but I did use yarn for one of the projects. So I wanted to use a different uh, medium for or different material for the ribbon. And so I love how it looks and I just snip the ends off, creating a little diagonal. So I decide that it needs some flowers. So I'm using these flowers gifted to me by Becky Long in a swap. I will have her linked below. These flowers can be purchased at Hobby Lobby as well. So now let's fill the basket. I found this SVG file on the, the de design store with Silhouette. Guess what it is? It's an egg rosette, you guys. I love this so much. Uh, I purchased it prior to uh, this series and I knew I wanted to use it. But uh, yeah, it goes very well with this basket, you guys. And that concludes the video. Hope you liked it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Everything will be linked below as soon as I'm able to. Bye.